And I think it's a big point in rock and roll history in that you had in a high school uh, right here in the Cleveland area uh, a bunch of these big rock and roll stars performing and doing the show. Uh, it, you know, it was in that early period of rock and roll in 1955. Rock and roll had been going for a while. You know, you can trace it back if you want to go to New Orleans and look at Fats Domino back in the late 40s. But this is right on the cusp of rock and roll breaking out nationwide. One year later after this, in 1956, Elvis Presley will be on the Dorsey Brothers stage show, the Ed Sullivan show, and will become a uh, national and very quickly after that worldwide icon. So this show is sort of that last moment as, as things are just on the cusp of breaking out for rock and roll all around the world. I had read where they, that you have to keep the yearbooks hidden away because of the interest in them. Uh, people would give their eye teeth for the 55 year, uh, 56 yearbook from mm -hmm. uh, Elvis in October of 55. Uh, we keep it hidden so it doesn't walk out the door. You never know. How would you describe the collection of artifacts and photos that you have from that concert here? Uh, it's quite extensive. We don't have much of anything that's original except probably the floor and the, uh, we have a full panel of the curtain. So every year you hear from somebody about that concert? Yes, there's always, there's a lot of young people that kind of still follow it and would not have been around at the time. Mm. What do you remember about the concert itself? It was good. Really? It was very good, very good. Um, Elvis had the uh, red uh, coat on, mm -hmm. red uh, sport coat on. He, I remember a couple of the strings broke on the guitar as he was playing it. What was the reaction of the students Oh, the my God. I mean, <laughs> an explosion. Really? Oh, yeah, they loved it. Oh, okay. And the behavior was very good because we had a, an agreement with, um, with the superintendent, with uh, Mr. Rice, that if we behaved ourselves during these uh, assemblies, we would have another one the next month. I do remember Elvis, and I remember one of the things that John brought up about the broken guitar string. Oh. Uh, that's the one thing that sticks in my mind. So what did Elvis do when the, the string broke? Just kept playing? No, just kept playing. Yeah, I just remember him jumping around with the broken string flopping in the air. <laughs> Does it surprise you that people are still interested in that concert? Yeah. Uh, I mean, the thing was, for years and years, you would tell people that Brooklyn um, hosted Elvis Presley. Mm -hmm. And they would say, no, you're crazy, you know. Uh, but now everybody has, has finally figured out for sure. So what do you remember about the concert? It was all new to me because I was seventh grade, and this is the first time I was ever exposed to this type of music. Oh, okay. And I remember Elvis, and he had a red suit on, and they turned the yellow lights on on the stage, and it made it look orange. Oh, okay. And he, he had brown hair, and he was very shy. That was his first concert or first appearance that he had. Mm -hmm. And he, very timid. He didn't jump around or all that, you know, like yeah. most of them do. I remember back in those days, it was like Bobby Soxers and girls sc screaming and swooning. Did any of that go on? Not, not in our school because that was taboo. They, oh. Everybody acted like ladies and gentlemen or else you were escorted out. Now at the end, they would say, yes, make a lot of noise and applaud and stand and cheer. But during the concert itself, you could very quietly clap for them after their performance. What kind of reaction do you get when you tell people you were at that concert? They said that they were mostly, really? Was he really there? And I said, yes. Did you get a sense, you know, this guy is going to be a star someday or just... No. He's just a no, performer. It, just, yeah. it was, like I said, it was all new to me. Yeah. It was all new to me.